This is Rothman Tech Tips here. I'm with John Bull of East Bank Technologies. John, thank you for coming on the program Good today. Uh, John, I was hoping you can educate me and educate my audience on LifeRay. LifeRay. Okay, well, LifeRay is an enterprise portal and content management system that's uh, present in the open source community. All right, so portal, what is a portal and why do people, why do other enterprise businesses need that? Sure. Portals are um, technology that organizations will use to integrate all kinds of different data and applications into one common environment so that users can have a single unified experience, either from a branding perspective or a security perspective. And um, organizations often need them because over time their technology has um, evolved, right? And so you have internal applications and external facing applications with different tools and different security requirements and portals provide a way to unify that entire experience for their, their um, employees as well as their customers. Now, I heard you mention earlier content management. Please tell me what exactly that is and, and how does that integrate with a life ray or with a portal? Sure. Content management is, is really super important, obviously, in the, in the world we live in today with all the different web, uh, web formats, data formats that are out there, and all the, think of all the documents that any organization has. We've got Word documents and PDFs and spreadsheets and HTML files and images and videos. And the challenges that organizations face today is those are all different formats and often in really different places. So how do you bring manageability to those so that your websites are dynamic with the latest content and old content gets expired, whether that's on your customer-facing website or on your corporate intranet? So you take a portal and then combine it with a content management solution, which is what LifeRay has, and you really get the best of both worlds. So dynamic content that's always up to date, but that also has manageability for the IT organization. This is great. So it sounds like that every enterprise level organization has to have a portal and a content management solution. Well, I would certainly like that to be the case, because you and I would be way busier. <laughs> hey, so one last thing that you, you mentioned earlier was open source. I know that's a big thing in the technology community. Could you edu educate me and my audience on open source and what that is? Sure. Open source is simply a different way for organizations to own software. Right? Um, the traditional method is you buy a, a license. Um, Microsoft's big in the license. Right. You buy Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, right. um, Adobe. Right. You're buying licensing. So does open source mean free? Open source can mean free, but for most organizations of any scale, there are, there's a public or community version that is free, but when you, then there is an enterprise version. And in these cases, organizations buy a subscription. And while the software is free, the subscription is what provides them access to support and upgrades and updates in the broader community. So it's not completely free, but generally less expensive, certainly on an upfront basis, than buying a traditional licensed model. That's great, and I can see why a lot of IT professionals out there might prefer open source to some of the Microsofts or SAPs or some of the very expensive software licensing models that are out there. Yeah, and, the other, and the other advantage that the open source uh, community um, promotes is the fact that you literally have thousands and thousands of developers globally working on these applications. So, um, and it's really that community where everybody tries yeah, to collaborate. Had, if you've ever waited going, hey, it's in the next version, and the next version is, is six months or nine months or a year away, Typically, you'll see rap more um, shorter iterations, right, in terms of new versions and features coming online in the open source world. So, John, this is great. You you really educated me. You educated my audience on LifeRay, on content management, on open source. This was a very informative session here. Thank you for coming on the program. You're welcome. Uh, before I let you go, we always do the I don't cook portion of the vlog here. You and I, we work together. We work for East Bank Technologies. We're here in Georgetown. We go out to lunch all the time. Please tell us your favorite lunch spot here. So my favorite lunch spot so far, right? So the six months we've been working together is, um, I'm going to give you two. Oh, right? yeah, so, yeah, one. Sorry. Just one? Just, just one. one. That's it. Okay, so my favorite, I'm going to go with Thunder Burger. Right? Thunder Burger. Yeah, the awesome business lunch at Thunder Burger. It's the bomb. That is a great place. Those burgers are excellent. So there's the I Don't Cook recommendation right. from John Bull. Thunder Burger on M Street here in Georgetown. John, thank you for coming on the program today. This is Rothman Tech Tips.